so for this problem, um, what I'm going to show you how to do is, you know, kind of solve for an angle, the cosine of 160. Now, remember, when we're using our unit circle, it's it was easy for us to determine, hey, the cosine of 60 degrees, right? We could quickly figure that out to say, hey, cosine of 60 degrees, one half, right? We could figure out where it was on the unit circle and apply it. Here we have a little bit of difficulty because the cosine of 160, um, we can't find it up on the unit circle. We know, you know, 180, and if we subtract 30 degrees from that, that'd be 150. We know those two angles, but we don't know exactly what one cos 160 is. Um, on the unit circle, so it's hard for us. Rosa, can you please go to the media center? Rosa, can you please go to the media center? Thank you. Thank you. So, what we do know is um, that we can figure it out. Like like I said, without plugging it in your calculator, we, that would give you an approximate answer. We want to find the exact. So what we want to do is, we know we can find the exact answers of 30, 45, 60, and 90. Really just 30 and 45, but obviously, well, this work this. So if we can determine what are two angles that are multiples of really just, you know, these angles that add up or subtract to give me 160. And what we look at is cosine, we could say of 120. Oh, that was 165, isn't it? Yep. Yeah, thank you. So it's 120 plus 45 degrees. Sorry, I wrote down the problem wrong. It was one cosine of 165. So therefore, I can rewrite that as 120 plus 45 degrees, all right? Because now I know I can figure out what 120 is on the unit circle, and I can figure out what 45 degrees is. So now the next thing I need to do is use my sum and difference formulas. So for the cosine of two angles added up, I need to use the cosine of the sum of two angles, cosine of u times b. That equals the cosine of u times the cosine of v minus the sine of u times the sine of v. All right, I don't expect you to memorize all this stuff. I expect you, whenever you do this problem, these types of problems, to write down that formula. By doing that enough, you'll quickly, easily um, have, that, have that equation quickly memorized. So now the next thing I'm going to do is just plug in my values. So therefore, that's cosine of 120 times cosine of 45 minus sine of 120 times sine of 45 degrees. So now I need to determine you know, what is going to be my um, cosine of 120 degrees. So I take a look at that. And if I look 120 degrees, that's roughly going to be you know, 30 degrees away from uh, 180. So my coordinate point would be negative radical 3 over 2, comma, 1 half. So cosine of 120 degrees is negative radical 3 over 2 times the cosine of 45 degrees, which 45 degrees, we know that coordinate is radical 2 over 2. So the cosine of 45 degrees, yes? Isn't it um, 2 pi over 3? Nah. I think what you're talking about is 150 degrees. Cosine of 90, oh, jeez, I'm way off, you're right. This is, wow, I didn't even write my circle. So this would be 90 plus 30 degrees, right? You're right, thank you. Negative 1 half, radical 3 over 2. Thank you. Ooh. I think I'm kind of moving a little bit too fast. So cosine of 120 degrees, thank you, is going to be this angle, right? It's not 30. Obviously, 30, 30 degrees is not, or 120 is not 30 from 180. So I'll slow down a little bit and just go through this. So the cosine of 120, yes, is going to be this angle, negative 1 half, radical 3 over 2. Thank you. So it's going to be negative 1 half times the cosine of 45 degrees, which again is going to be your y coordinate of this point, which is radical 2 over 2, okay? Minus the sine of 120 degrees is now going to be the y coordinate of this point, which will be a radical 3 over 2, times the sine of 45 degrees, which is radical 2 over 2. So now what we simply can do is take a look at our problem and what I can do is I'll just multiply this out. So this becomes a negative 2, sorry, negative radical 2 over 2 minus radical 3 times radical 2 is going to be a radical 6 over, geez, I'm just making mistakes all over, aren't I? Four 2 times 2 is going to be 4. So therefore I have a negative uh, square root of 2 minus the square root of 6 both over 4. One thing you notice is you can also factor out a 4 from the bottom 
and also a radical 2. So you can factor out a radical 2 um, over 4, and what you'll be left with is a, uh, a negative 1, um, negative 1 minus radical 3. And that is going to be your final answer.